Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, Freddy Frags here. Today I'm going to bring you a new review and this is actually a house review. A review on the house of Zoologist Perfumes. Zoologist Perfumes is a, a Canadian based company that has a lot of home pride. Um, not only was the fragrance house created and founded in Canada, but they pride themselves in not only designing everything in Canada, but they also bottle and package and ship everything out of Toronto, Canada. Um, Zoologist Perfumes was founded back in 2013 13 by uh, Mr. Victor Wong, and he works alongside some award-winning perfumers um, to create his vision and bring it to life. And the vision is basically the animal kingdom. Um, each scent should remind you of not, if not the animal, their habitat or th or notes of things that surround the habitat of these certain animals. Um, every fragrance, every fragrance is compounded in eau de parfum concentration, and it contains no animal pro um, products. Um, they simply just don't want to harm any animals just as, so we can smell good. It makes no sense to them, makes no sense to me. Um, and it's, I think it's a good concept. Uh, as of today, the house has eight releases, um, seven different scents and one reformulation. Um, I'm going to read off here. The, there's Beaver, Beaver 2016, which is the reformulation. Then you have Bat, Rhinoceros, Panda, Hummingbird, Nightingale, and Macaque. Uh, Zoologist Perfume is a very creative uh, perfume house, and they pay attention to detail. I mean, I was very impressed by that. Um, they have one of the best presentations in the industry. Everything starts starting from the story that they created for these animals. Not created, but the background that they put together for these animals and the artwork to the way they, the, the sample packs look amazing, the bottles and presentation that it comes in are, I'm not gonna say second to none, but they're top notch, right up there with some of the best in the industry. Um, and I'm just gonna give you my quick thoughts on some of the fragrances, well, all of the fragrances in the house. Uh, back. Now, this scent took me back, all the way back to when I was a kid, and we had these school trips to the zoo. Um, I'm not, I'm really not sure if it's just me knowing that it, it's the name bat, but it takes me to the zoo, not only the zoo, but the bat house exhibits. Now, again, I don't know if it's just the name that puts me there, but that's what I get. This fragrance, uh, is very damp and earthy. Um, throughout the composition, I also pick up some musk, some spoiled banana, leather, and vetiver. Uh, this scent, in my, in my opinion, is very creative, uh, but it's nothing that I can personally wear. Um, but I do think that it hit the nail on the head for what he was going for. The second one I'm gonna talk about is uh, rhinoceros. Now this opens with a sweet rum, lavender, and a hint, just a hint, of this tough leather, um, not a nice uh, jacket leather, just a tough leather. Um, after about 20 minutes, the, the leather starts to dominate the fragrance. Um, other notes that pop in uh, throughout the life of the fragrance is tobacco, oud, vetiver, and you also get some woods. Um, this, As this fragrance dies down towards the end, you do get like a smoky, musky leather. Um, I can see people that are looking for a unique leather. I can see people that are looking for that type of leather really gravitating towards this scent. Um, I really enjoyed this one. Um, but again, this is one that I probably would not wear. But I can see and respect the artistry that went into this one. Um, the next one is Panda. Now this scent is very green. Leafy type of green uh, with hint of like a citrus zest. Um, I get an aquatic vibe in this. Um, there's no aquatic notes, so it might be the zisu uh, leaf that kind of gives it that um, that vibe. 
um because it's like a minty it's green it's a green vibe like something like a mint but it well, i guess maybe with the mixture of the notes it kind of gives me an aquatic vibe and i'm not a big aquatic fan but i thought this one was more wearable than the other ones um towards the end of the scent um you do get a lot of cedar wood um showing his face um is it this is an interesting fragrance to say the least um the next one up is hummingbird now this is a beautiful um floral scent with some fruity sweetness in it um i can detect a light clean oud throughout the fragrance um after this scent is almost at the bitter end and it's really close to the skin i do get a warmthness that i get from it. even though lightly on the skin i do get a warmthness from it uh warmthness from it um uh, from the amber um hummingbird does lean feminine uh, but it is a very nice uh wearable scent um completely balanced from beginning to end and i would probably give this as a gift to a female a woman um uh, my, my wife my sisters anyone you know that i would need to get a fragrance gift for and they and i knew they would appreciate something that's a little different i would definitely uh consider giving them this as a gift the next fragrance wow. is nightingale now nightingale is a bright floral it reminds me of the aroma of like the flowers that I would bring home to my wife, uh, like the bouquet when it's sitting in a room, how you get that, that floral, almost stinky little flowers, um, but very floral aromatic scent um, that, that covers the room once, you know, when you have flowers sitting in a vase um, in a room. Um, as time passes, and it's on your skin for a while. Uh, it tends to get a little more mature. Um, when I say mature, I don't mean like a dated scent. I just mean something that's more um, for a sophisticated woman, a woman that's organized and well put together. Um, again, this is another one that leans towards our feminine side and I would probably give this to someone like uh, maybe my mom, my aunt, or even my wife. I think she may like this one as well. Um, the next one that I'm going to talk about is Macaque. Now, Macaque is a very green fragrance. Um, complementing the green, you get a fruit, wood, musk, with some florals um, hanging around. Um, the fruit is needed. Uh, it, it, the fruit is a much added sweetness to the fragrance that um, breaks up that green floral uh, natural vibe that that you get from this fragrance um, by no means is this a fruit scent um, and but that sweetness uh, balances out the fragrance uh, should I say it's a very nice uh, balanced fragrance um, another note that I get throughout this fragrance is the jasmine tea um, it's it's there um, it's not dominant from beginning to end but it's there the whole time um, this is a beautiful blended fragrances and one that I would seriously consider purchasing in the future. The last one is Beaver 2016, which is the reformulation. Unfortunately, I was unable to get my hands or sample the original Beaver. Um, I think I will soon. Um, I think a friend of mine has a bottle and I'm going to try it out. Um, I hear that this that formulation, the original formulation, is more of a campfire, smoky type of scent. Um, very different from what I got from the new formulation. Uh, the new formulation is my favorite from the house. Um, I'm definitely going to pick up a bottle of this in the future. Um, this fragrance is a well-blended, fresh, powdery leather fragrance. Um, being a little musky uh, and a watery vibe at the same time. It's hard to explain. Nothing here sounds like it should be good or it should mesh together, but it does. Um, with all that being said, this is a great fragrance for, I would say three seasons out of the year, but I would probably mainly wear this in the spring, uh, spring, summer, and maybe in, into the fall. Um, not too cold, but I think it'll it'll maintain and hold itself any time of year. Uh, but it depends if you live in the south or in the warm temperature area. This is definitely an all year fragrance. 
this could probably be a staple in my warm weather fragrances, uh, I think. So all in all, fragrances is a personal thing. Um, I think we can all agree that, uh, agree to that. Um, it's an accessory in our everyday lives that um, tells, or at least to some degree, reveals a little bit of our, you know, our personality. Um, I feel like this line of fragrances will surprise you. It surprised me. Um, I thought I wasn't going to like any of them. Um, I thought they may be a little too weird. When I opened the package, the scent that came out of it, I was like, mm, I don't know. You know. But it surprised me. I, I didn't hate any of them. I liked all of them and respected all of them. Um, but there's about four that I would purchase from from the seven that's I think that's that's a good sign um, macaque and beaver 2016 I would buy for myself um, even nightingale I would I would wear um, so it's more feminine but I would wear it um, and then nightingale and um, hummingbird those are two that I would gift to a female that's that I would smell like you know on a regular basis so Four out of the seven wearable fragrances, I think, is is a great sign. The other ones are done, and I think are done well. And I think that certain people will enjoy those fragrances. I just think you have to have a personality to pull them off. I think Victor. I I really think that Victor Wong did it the right way. Um, he they, he takes his time to make sure that each release matches his vision. Um, the attention to detail is almost second to none and the fact is that I, I really respect and take my head off to Victor Wong for what he did um, with these scents again they're not all wearable in my opinion but out of the seven four are a-okay and I think you should at least give this house a try like I said I think it'll surprise you the way it surprised me um, I'm looking forward to seeing more from this house. Um, it seems like the more and more that they release fragrances, the more wearable they're becoming. Um, maybe that shows some growth within the house, within the the vision that he's going for. But all in all, this is a great house. Please check them out. And that's my take on, um, on Zoologist. I've Perfume. also started a blog uh, that I've made a video for before, a video describing it before, and I, I want to. I'm gonna put the link down below. What I want to do is give a lucky subscriber an opportunity to win a sample of each of these fragrances. Now you will have to be a subscriber to this channel. That's one. Two, leave a message below. That's two. Three, leave a message on the blog of the uh, Zoologist Perfumes. And with those three things, feel free to share the video. I'm not going to say that's a requirement, but please feel free to share the video, share the blog. Uh, that'll be much appreciated. Um, after a week of release I, of this video, uh, I will draw up, make a list of whoever followed all the rules, and I will draw up a winner and send them a sample pack containing each one of the fragrances of the house um it'll be a, from a random.org there'll be one winner and like i said i appreciate you guys stopping by uh, please take a moment to write something subscribe share the video till next time peace stay blessed and thank you again